there, Gemini Cancer, and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. This, of course, is your monthly January 2022 monthly reading. <laughs> uh, I'm back from vacation. It's wonderful to be back. Let's get into these cards. Thank you so much for your patience, for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And don't forget, you might want to book this, bookmark this reading. It will be good for the rest of the month, so you might want to come back and reference. Also, if you're wondering what other readings will, suck, will uh, serve you, and I did put out the Zodiac uh, focus readings already. Uh, just check the What the Bleep Will Resonate link down below in the description box. Lots of good stuff down there, okay? All right, what is the overall monthly energy for our Gemini Cancerian friends? Oh, we do have the Ten of Swords energy. All right, so maybe there's been something that's, there's been an awkward or a painful ending. Maybe there's been some sort of treachery or some sort of fuckery or whatever. You know what? I, you know what? We already know this. I'm just gonna, let's put this to the side. We'll keep that in mind that there, maybe there was some heartbreak in the past, but you know, what do we have next? We do have death. We have transition. Okay. So I feel like that's a lot better. There's a transformative energy, the ability for you or opportunity for you to um, remake the situation or remake your approach or remake your your attitude your persona whatever it is in in an image that is better suited to your needs your desires your wants okay all right let's go ahead and take, take a look here uh, we're gonna pull first immaterial messages immaterial messages having to do with this month we'll do wealth after that then love and then we'll do a monthly breakdown with messages for now messages for later and messages for the end of the month okay immaterial messages though we have the moon card energy so you could have gotten over an emotional time you could also be uh energetically or psychically you could be looking for some uh, some sort of um rest or that maybe that's been very high high strung high energy especially because you're going through this transition or you're going through this transformation for some of you this could be spiritual awakening but i feel like it could be taking on kind of a more wild or more um i don't know i just kind of feel like it, it could take on a more wild or more intense sort of uh, energy or persona or the way that it's affecting you or the way that, that you're introducing this change could be a bit unsettling for you or others. We do have the Queen of Cups energy. We also have the King of Cups that came out. So I feel like here, first of all, this is Cancerian energy. This is Minor and Gemini. So this is you and whoever your partner is or whoever your counterpart is, the person that is attached to you or that you're thinking about whether or not I, I feel like for for who we're talking about now I feel like you're attached to someone I feel like your spiritual journey it is kind of making you turn your back on this person or your spiritual journey is triggering your partner or your person or someone who wants to be with you or someone who is interested in you but most likely uh, someone who is intimidated or freaked out by the experience that you're having, especially spiritually. Maybe, I, I mean, let, we'll bring the Ten of Swords back because I think it makes sense here. I think that there might be some sort of ending of a relationship because this person can no longer follow you. This person, you can no longer continue to live a life that's in, going in the same direction as this person. Not if you want to truly honor your spiritual calling. That's what I get, okay? All right, it's it's bittersweet because you have a lot of a lot of uh, feelings, a lot of passions. I feel like you're really excited about embracing your spiritual life, but I feel like you're sad that you have to let this person go, or you might feel sad that it's tearing you apart because maybe you just don't understand why this person can't come with you or why this person can't follow suit. I mean, they're or, they are your counterpart, or you're already married to them. You're like, why can't you just follow me on this journey but it's just it's not meant for them all right we have the eight of swords energy so you might have taken a long time to get to this point you might or maybe you're finally opening up to this person you know maybe this is the other way around someone could be opening up to you but i think you i think this is the feeling of outgrowing someone or feeling like you've outgrown someone okay i feel like they're not going to take it 
I mean, I, I feel like it's very upsetting for them. I don't necessarily, I mean, with the moon, they might actually fight you on this, but with the moon, they might just have their feelings, but they might give you a cold exterior, like they're not gonna show you how it affects them. Uh, for some of you, if this is not like romantic, this could be like a family member that you are, you know, saying, I just, I can't take the madness anymore. Nine of Swords energy, you're just, you know, the, the connection is no longer worth, no longer worth my, my time or attention. It's just caused me too much grief. Also here, I feel like, you know, you could be stressing out about the future. You could be stressing out about the future because it's like, again, maybe you're asking yourself, you know, uh, What's gonna happen if I don't follow this spiritual path because I want this person or because I don't wanna end my relationship or because whatever is going on here, your, your conflicted feelings, okay? So something is keeping you up at night. You need to find some sort of clarity. I feel like, I feel like you know, it's it, it, in this case, I feel like you need someone who you can confide in. The King of Cups energy is someone who will keep your keep your confidence, but also might be able to give you some intent. This is a person who's emotionally aware, but also intelligent, you know, in terms of like, um, they, they can be logical, they can be rational. I think this is the person that you need to talk to. It could be, if, if you're not with a Scorpio, it could be a Scorpio that's gonna help, help to guide you in this situation possibly, because Death card is also Scorpio energy. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's get into some wealth messages. Wealth messages for Gemini Cancerian friends. You also, I mean, you could be playing a big part in helping to teach and guide others through their own their own darkness or through the, you know, the long, uh, um, through like some sort of long drawn out traumatic or dramatic situation. Maybe you're the person who's helping someone achieve change as well. All right, maybe that's maybe that is related to the spiritual purpose that you have. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me about your wealth messages. So not just financial wealth, but also um, spiritual wealth. You know, emotional wealth. What you involving what you value. What are the the messages related that for that uh, for Gemini? Cancerian. We have the Page of Cups energy, so either you might be focused on another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could be focused on a child. You could be focused on your child, okay? Uh, there's a couple of other things that means, but let's go ahead and dig a little deeper because I feel like we're on to something here. Yeah, we have the King of Wands energy. So you could be uh, dealing with a Cancerian Leo. Maybe this person, they could be someone that you you imagine a life with them or it's exciting to imagine a life with them. You might be very sweet on them. This person, they might, uh, you might already have a child with this person, possibly a water sign child with this person. There's judgment energy. So I feel like you are considering or figuring out what you wanna do in the situation to move forward. I feel like for some of you, this could be maybe you're trying to figure out whether or not you should monetize something that you love doing because on one hand it's like you just love it as as almost like therapeutic the other hand you know maybe there's a part of you that wants to seek to see if you can make money or if you can get some you know get something going because of this so you might be weighing those two options if you're not dealing with a leo okay or a water sign here we have the Ten of Cups energy. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're getting your whatever it is in terms of your ambitions, in terms of the money that you're making, in terms of the opportunities. I actually feel like you're hella satisfied right now. I also feel like you have your pick of who you want to work with, or you might be able to select, be very selective with your clientele. Only people that you know are good, maybe pre-screened, pre-approved, you know, sort of energy. Uh, you might also be getting into real estate possibly, especially something in the suburbs or not necessarily like in the hottest part of town, but in an up and coming part of town, especially for young, hip, modern families. Okay, <laughs> There could be something, um, you could be representing maybe like the LGBTQ plus, uh, you know, people or community, or you might be a member of that community. But I feel like whatever this is, it's like you are helping people to feel comfortable in their neighborhood, to settle into the neighborhood. I feel like you're getting, it's almost like being a, a household name or a brand name. Uh, so again, I feel like you have what it takes, the talent, you know, this is telling you have the talent or you have the goods. You just have to figure out whether or not you want to keep it private or you want to monetize it, okay? 
but I feel like people are might be pressuring you into monetizing just remember if this is something that you really love that you really enjoy it doesn't necessarily mean you have to make money from it because you know maybe it will make it less enticing or less fun for you and then it's like you've spoiled something that you know that works for you or that is important to you that being said, we have the, the Knight of Pentacles energy. This is Virgo with a minor in Leo. Yeah, I feel like someone might be, someone in your family might be criticizing you though. Someone in your family might be pushing you to monetize or someone makes you feel foolish that you, you're not making a business out of it. But I feel like ultimately here, you're going to go at your own pace. You have to go at your own pace. I feel like that's the only way you're going to feel satisfaction in the situation. Also here with the... Um, you know, if you're not dealing with a, if you're not dealing with a Cancer Leo Cusper, maybe you're dealing with a Leo Virgo Cusper. But there's definitely some combination of Leo and water, or Leo and a cusp that is, you know, uh, this person is involved or whatever that is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. What else? What else do we have? We have the Fool card energy. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like you would rather not monetize, you would rather not uh, not pressure yourself into monetizing, or maybe you don't put pressure on people to buy houses if you're like a realtor. You want it to feel, you want it to be fun, you want it to be uplifting, fun, light. You don't want there to be like pressure, like there's doom and gloom, like there's, you know, everything has to happen so quickly. You're not, so, I mean, you would like to make things happen, but ultimately here, I feel like it doesn't serve you to try to just force yourself into something just for the sake of doing it or for the sake of striking while the iron is hot. I feel like you have time to think and you know, maybe keep this thing to yourself, keep it fun for as long as you can. I think feel like you might regret it later, okay? But if you're asking, is it good enough to monetize? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, and to be successful. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. And of course, you know, sometimes it's like take it's successful, but will it be an overnight success? Most things are not, okay? But it could be. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me about love energy, whether it's platonic or it's romantic, whether it's about lovers or family or friends. What is going on with these love messages for Gemini Cancerian? You have the star card energy, so it looks like everything feels positive, new, shiny, new, optimistic. I'm getting romantic. I'm getting Little Mermaid kiss the girl, go on and kiss the girl, or someone's thinking, you know, <laughs> that you're the person that they want to kiss, all right? I do feel like there is magic, there is romance, there's tenderness, there's gentleness, inspiration, all right? I feel like it's looking really good in terms of prospects for love. Here we, we have, um, that being said, oh no, we have the devil and the queen of swords. So you might be feeling good. You might be putting yourself out there, dating, new beginnings, healing. And there could be someone, possibly a Libra, a Virgo Libra cusper, could also be a Capricorn, could be your ex. I feel like they, they might be low key giving you like, giving you a hard time or, or sending negative vibes towards you. I feel like it's more like this person is still in your life. I feel like you still talk to this person but I feel like if you notice that you were really happy when you, you know before you talk to them and then you get in and, and then you talk to them and you feel you know like the, like the devil just gave you a beating I feel like you do need to you need you might need to like step away from this person or cut them out you might need to also assert your boundaries with this person maybe speak up maybe you're just afraid to have an argument because it's like maybe this person the way that they react sometimes they make you feel they also could sometimes make you feel stupid about feeling optimistic mystic or you know about you know <laughs> about daring to dream sometimes okay or being overly romantic yeah we have the nine of cups energy i feel like despite the fact that despite the fact that this person uh maybe they just they get salty or bitter or they there's something inside of them that makes them triggers them or makes them angry or puts them in their shadow energy seeing you get what you want Maybe it's because you are what they want, but you don't want them anymore is kind of what I'm getting here. But I feel like this ex is not over it, even if on the surface they're like, oh, let's talk about it. You know, I feel like they're still bitter. They might even, there could be an ex coming back to try to, to see, you know, to ask for forgiveness or to see if something new can, you know, if, if you can heal the relationship. I feel like they really want to change things. I feel like you don't want to change things. But I feel like ultimately here, maybe they are, 
Also testing the waters to see if you, you will entertain this idea. All right, we have the King of Swords energy. So the star card is Aquarius energy, but here we see actually a person showing up with that energy. So this is Aquarius with the minor in Capricorn. So this, if, if it's not a Libra, your ex could be an Aquarius, or this could be an Aquarius that's your friend. Could also just be through the 11th house, which Aquarius rules. This could also be like one of your buds, someone that you hang out with, Nine of Cups. King of Swords, someone that's been to your house or someone where you've been to their house, but it feels like this person, there's a lot that they, they're thinking a lot, but they're not saying a lot. Some of their feelings are definitely in the realm of jealousy or in the realm of Maybe it's like, it's kind of the attitude or energy. Maybe even if they want you to be happy, they don't necessarily want you to be happy without them or, you know, as happy without them. <laughs> but I do kind of feel like you will be, you are, because maybe you're meeting an Aquarius that is like what, what you, you, you get what you want out of this relationship and maybe this makes the Libra angry. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups energy. So I feel like you are definitely starting a new romance or you've already started a new romance. I feel like uh, you, maybe there's someone that you've been asking advice though. Maybe you've been asking this person, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, or your ex for advice. And I feel like they might be trying to poison the well, devil next to the star card energy. I feel like they might be trying to, to make you doubt or make you have anxiety about this new person or put like put seeds of doubt in your mind in order to, you know, in order to sabotage the relationship because I think they're not over you and they don't know how to say that, okay? All right, but I think this is a big change because they, they're not expect, they didn't expect you to find someone else. Here with the, um, or at least someone that you that you connected with in this way, but with the Queen of Pentacles, could be dealing with a Capricorn, possibly a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper, but I feel like the new person, I feel like you might end up marrying this person, you might, you might end up coming into union with this person, marrying this person, but I feel like this is more like a long-term thing, and I feel like that's what throws this other person off their game, okay? All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and move forward, my friends. We're gonna move into the uh, monthly breakdown for now, for later, and for the end of the month. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Not only will you get alerts when I do new readings, just make sure you click that little bell to uh, you know, edit your notification preferences. And you'll also get access to Free Question Friday, which the first Friday of every month, I answer free questions for um, people that have been subscribed for 30 days and beyond. All right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put all those cards down together. All right, let's go ahead. Otherwise, I can't remember. I go to title it. I'm like, what was, what was going on? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's get some messages for now. What are messages that will serve Gemini Cancerian now? All right, we do have poverty energy. So it does look like maybe there is some sort of financial concerns. Could also be that that you have, you know, someone feels like you are, like you're leaving them high and dry, all right? We do have wealthy man energy. Yeah, I feel like you're the person with the money or you're the person with the resources. I feel like you might be saying, you might be cutting someone off is what I'm getting, financially especially. Yeah, with change energy, it's a brand new day. I also, you know, that's like the death card energy. I feel like, you know, it's a brand new day. I feel like you are redirecting your resources. I feel like someone's been, I feel like someone's been sponging off of you or someone has been profiting off of you for a long time. Maybe you considered them, maybe, you know, you felt for them. It could have been like a charity case or it could have been, you know, someone who legitimately you cared about, but it's like you just, you're, you can't support them for the rest of your life is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, pathway energy, maybe they thought when, you know, the relationship was their golden ticket, but I feel like you're, you're going to move forward. You're moving ahead. I feel like there's a better option option or there's a better way for you and I feel like um, your your abundance only increases as you make distance from this person we have judication yeah you might actually be divorcing someone you might be divorcing someone or you've made the final decision that it's better for you for you both to go your own way I feel like if you're going through some sort of separation or divorce I feel like realistically it is it is helping you to move towards a better place this might also it might actually um, involve relocation for some of you but if you're if you're relocating or if you're thinking about it it looks like it, it will probably turn out positive for you all right we have toil and labor we have courtship yeah this relationship was tedious this connection was tedious 
and I feel like this person, you worked, you worked hard for the money, but I feel like this person, they didn't have to, they didn't even break a sweat spending your money is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, I feel like they might, they might be the reason that you could have experienced some debt or they could be, you know, again, I feel like they were trying to sponge off of you. I feel like you're, you're changing things, you're getting rid of them. All right, we have family room energy. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who was living with you. So you might also be moving out and they might be, they might be worried that they can't afford the rent or the mortgage by themselves. But I feel like it's just not something you can continue to worry about. I feel like uh, you have already put yourself out a lot for this person. I feel like, you know, now it's time to focus on, on what you need. Now it's time to focus on your wealth and abundance because you've given this person plenty of chances, you know, to, and plenty of money money or resources or time to be successful on their own, okay? All right, maybe some of you were waiting to move out until this person kind of got on their feet, but you realized they were never going to get on their feet, nor were they really, maybe you doubted that they were really trying to, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into messages that may serve you later. So anytime from, uh, oops, so messages that may serve you later. So anytime from now up until, uh, you know, but before the end of the month, okay? Maybe a little bit later than now, but before the end of the month, what are the messages for you? We do have reunion energy. So there's def definitely someone popping back up. There's definitely something popping back up. Oh, I'll put it here. All right, let's go ahead and see what's popping back up or who's popping back up. We have melancholy. So maybe someone who had some disappointment appointments or someone who had some regrets the last time they saw you someone that you you know it might have been kind of a sad ending or a sad parting or this person regretted not saying something to you not they regretted the way things turned out we have surprise energy so they might be they might be surprising you you might unexpectedly meet them somewhere or maybe they never thought they were going to see you again but it automatically like i feel like they feel like they're getting another chance we have a widower energy, so you might be dealing with someone who had a who had a spouse pass. Maybe this person they didn't think they were gonna find love again. Maybe you're the person who didn't think he, who was gonna find love again. But whoever whoever thought that they that lost someone and thought they weren't gonna find love again, I feel like this is like you know the second time around. Maybe they're surprised that they have these feelings for you, or you're surprised you have these feelings for them. Even if you aren't necessarily, even if this is someone new. And, you know, the reunion is with is with your ability or your belief that you can fall in love again or that you will, you know, you can find another life partner. All right. All right. What else do we have here? We have messenger energy. So it looks like you might be visiting with this person. This person might be coming to see you. They might be popping by. They might be, you know, confessing feelings or they might be. You know, they might be just letting you know that they have intentions towards you, that they, they wish that things had been different, uh, that they want to be with you. Whatever it is, I feel like it's it's more like a this person doesn't make you sad. I feel like they were sad that they let you go. Now they're popping back up in your life, okay? And again, if this is a new person, then you're just surprised that someone that you are actually having legitimate, strong, deep feelings for has shown up again. All right, or you know that, that you're feeling that way again yeah we have faithfulness this is definitely leading towards some sort of commitment or someone feels like they they want it to go towards commitment um this is someone who wants yeah i feel like this is someone who might have been very loyal to the partner that passed or you might have been loyal to the partner that passed so maybe you Maybe again, you were kind of trying to, they were trying to protect their heart or you were. Yeah, with thief and hope, it's like they they know they robbed themselves of a chance. They know they robbed themselves of happiness because they they were, they were just weren't ready or they, and they thought they were never gonna get the chance again. But I do feel like that they are coming back. I feel like they're gonna discuss their feelings. I feel like, you know, or they, there's someone who really, they're, they're coming to see they're, see you, they're coming to tell you that they are, you know, they have feelings for you, and this might be the first time in a long time that you actually reciprocate, okay? Or that you actually feel something for, for this for this new person, okay? Since, since the person that is gone or the person that passed. All right, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have pleasure seekers. Yeah, I feel like you're tired of F boys, fuck boys, fuck girls. I feel like you're tired of fakers and people that, you know, lunatics, fakers, and um, people just like, 
with their vices and their shadow energy and just wanting to have one night stands or whatever. I'm not saying that, you know, it's, I'm not talking down on anyone's lifestyle choices, but I feel like here you're looking for stability and commitment. And I feel like whoever this person is, that that's what they that's what they're gonna offer you okay all right thank you so much friends uh please join me again gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation